Good day. So let's have this example. A beam has a T-section built up by two plates as follows. 200 millimeters by 40 mm plate as flange and 100 mm by 20 mm plate as the web. Okay, the maximum shear force acting on the beam is 60 kN. So required, number one, shear stress at the neutral axis. Number two, shear, shear stress on the web at the junction of the web and uh, the flange. So for our uh, solution, let's say number one, since this is not a rectangular beam, we cannot use the, okay, the 3B over uh, 2A. So we can use the general formula, F sub B is equal to, or the same as the tau, is equal to the shear, the first moment of area divided by the moment of inertia okay, times uh, the width. For this problem, okay, we have the, uh, the maximum shear that is equal to uh, 60 kilonewtons. It is already a uh, given. So we need to locate the neutral axis by barignons. This is the area total, bar y, is equal to, let's say, area 1, y1, plus uh, the area 2, y sub, a2. Uh, so we may use area 1, or we may assign area 1 as the flange. Area 1 is equal to, this is 200 by 40. So 200 by 40 is equal to, this is 8,000 square millimeters. Area 2, so we may assign that as I the web. So this is equal to, we have 20 by uh, 100, and this is equal to, uh, we have 2,000 square millimeters. So we can have the total area, that is the area of the flange, 8,000, plus the area of the web, that is 2,000. So a total area of 10,000 square millimeters. Okay, so we may use the top of the beam as our uh, reference line. So we are to measure, we are to measure okay, the distance or the location of the neutral axis okay, from uh, the top of the beam. So we are using the top of the beam as the reference line. So what is the distance okay, from the centroid of the flange to the top of the beam? So what is this uh, distance? Okay, the flange has a thickness of 40 mm. So let's say this is y sub 1. It's a centroid half of uh, 40 that is, wait, 20 millimeters. Then the centroid of the web right, towards the uh, top of the beam, let's say this is the y sub 2. What is this uh, distance? That is the 40 mm thick flange plus half of 100. Half of 100 is 50. So 50 plus 40, that is equal to okay, 90 uh, millimeters. So locating the neutral axis using this equation, we have the total area is equal to 10,000 multiplied by bar y is equal to uh, area 1 is equal to 8,000 square millimeters y1 is 20 plus area 2 is 2,000 square millimeters uh, y sub 2 is equal to 90 mm so computing for uh, the location of the neutral axis from the top of the beam And let's equal to we have 8,000. This is multiplied by 20. A plus we have 2,000. I multiplied by 90. And this is to be divided by I 10,000 square millimeters. So we have that as I 34 millimeters. I 34 mm. So the location of the neutral axis is at a distance of 34 millimeters I below the top of the beam. So which means if we have a thickness, okay, the thickness of the flange is a uh, 40 mm, the neutral axis is within the flange since it is only it is only 34 millimeters. Okay, so let's say this uh, orange orange line is the neutral axis. Okay, this is our bar y. Uh, that is equal to 34 uh, millimeters. Uh, that is the location of the, uh, this is our neutral axis from the top of uh, the beam. It is within the, uh, the flange. 
So, computing for okay, the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. Okay, so after locating the neutral axis, okay, we are now to compute for okay, we are now to compute for the uh, moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. All we have to do is okay, uh, compute the distances of the centroid of each area okay, towards this time towards the neutral axis. So let's say okay, this is the centroid of uh, the flange. Uh, the distance of its uh, centroid towards the neutral axis, if this is 34, okay, from the top of the beam, it is uh, 20. Okay, the remaining distance, let's say the D sub 1, is equal to, this is 14 millimeters. Uh, how about the distance of the centroid of the web okay, towards the neutral axis? What is this distance? Let's say this is the D sub 2. So... A while ago, it is a 90 from the top of the beam. So 90 less 34. What is 90 less 34? Let's go to 56 millimeters. Right, the distance of the centroid of the web right, towards the neutral axis is equal to I56. Right, how do we compute for uh, the moment of inertia for an irregular uh, section? So this is okay, the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis is equal to that is the summation of their centroidal moment of inertia okay, plus uh, the summation of the area times their distances of their centroids towards the neutral axis squared. Okay, so let's have for, okay, for the flange, what is its uh, base? So again, for rectangular uh, section, centroidal moment of inertia is uh, the BD cube over, okay, the BD cube over 12. So for the flange, we have a base of 200, a depth of 40, uh, this is a cube divided by 12, plus uh, we have area that is 200 by uh, 40, the distance of its centroid towards the neutral axis is equal to uh, 14 millimeters. So this is 14 squared. So that is for, uh, for the flange. Uh, for the web, we have a base of 20, a depth of 100 cube, this is divided by 12, plus the area is 20 by 100, the distance of its centroid towards the neutral axis is equal to 56. So we are to, uh, going to square that value. So computing for the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis, this is 200 multiplied by 40, uh, this is raised to 3, okay, divided by 12, Okay, plus, okay, we have, this is 200 uh, multiplied by 40, then, okay, this is 14 squared. Okay, plus, okay, for, for the web, this is 20, okay, a depth of 100, okay, this is raised to 3, okay, over 12, okay, plus the area, that is uh, 20 by 100, Okay, and it's this, uh, the distance of its centroid okay, towards the neutral axis, we have that as 56 squared. So we have, okay, this is the moment of inertia. Okay, the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis is equal to So we can have it as, let's say, 10.573. Uh, uh, this is times 10 raised to uh, 6. Okay, millimeters raised to uh, 4. Okay, so after computing for the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis, okay, we are now to compute for the uh, first moment of uh, area. That is okay, the Q. So all we have to do is uh, we may consider the area above or area below the neutral axis. But for an easier analysis, okay, we are considering this area above. Okay? So computing for the first uh, moment of area, that is okay, the value of Q. So the value of Q is equal to, okay, we are de to deal with this uh, area. 
in the area above the neutral axis so we have that uh, depth of 34 uh, millimeters and that is uh, 34 mm okay, 34 mm times okay, uh, a length of 200 uh, millimeters then to moment this area we need the distance of its uh, centroid okay, towards the neutral axis so what is this uh, distance that is the half of 34 and half of 34 is we have it as a 17 so that is the moment of the area above the neutral axis so 34 by 200 the distance of its centroid towards the neutral axis is half of 34 that is a 17 so that value is equal to we have 34 multiplied by 200 then multiplied by 17 so we have that as 115,600 115,000 115,600 this is okay, millimeters raised to uh, 3 so what is the width of the neutral axis uh, we are computing for the shearing stress at the neutral axis so the width that is the B we are using B equal to 200 uh, millimeters so since this is again okay, the width of the neutral Axis. So I think we are uh, all values now are com completed. All we have to do is okay, substitute our uh, values to the uh, general formula. So our general formula that is equal to the F sub B is equal to this is the BQ divided by I times a B. So computing for okay, the shearing stress at the neutral axis, what is the magnitude of the maximum shear? The maximum shear is equal to 60 kilonewtons, or let's have it in newtons, let's say 60,000 newtons. The statical moment of area above the neutral axis, that is equal to 115,600 millimeters raised to, uh, raised to 3. So this is to be divided by, okay, what is our moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis? Okay, we can have it as 10 point. Uh, this is uh, 10.573 this is times 10 raised to uh, times uh, times 10 raised to 6 a uh, unit is i uh, millimeters raised to uh, 4 then what is the width of the neutral axis the width of the neutral axis is the width of the flange that is equal to 200 millimeters i uh, computing for i uh, the shearing stress at the neutral axis is equal to so we have the maximum uh, shear, it is given as 60 kilonewtons or 60,000 newtons. Statical moment of area above the neutral axis is 115,600. This is I divided by the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis, 10.573 times 10 raised to 6. Then the width of the neutral axis is I 200. So we have I the shearing stress at the neutral axis. Well, let's have it as I three point uh, twenty uh, eight. If we are to do unit analysis, I mm cube mm to the fourth. So this is mm. So mm times mm square mm for the denominator. So we have that is a uh, newtons per square uh, millimeters, or that is the same as I uh, the mega pascals. So this is our uh, solution for question uh, number one. The shearing stress at the neutral axis all right so we proceed to the second uh, requirement right, for the second requirement that is uh, number two so we are required to compute for the shear stress on the web at the junction of the web and uh, the flange right, for uh, question number two right, we are to compute or we are to uh, yes we are to compute for the shear stress at the junction so let's say this is uh, that layer uh, that is the connecting uh, surface area uh, between the uh, flange and uh, the web. So we are uh, using the same uh, formula for this one. Uh, that is the F sub B equal to, we have the BQ uh, divided by uh, IB. So we are still using the maximum shear equal to 60 kilonewtons or the 60,000 newtons. Uh, the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis that is equal to 10.573 uh, 
This is times 10 raised to uh, 6 uh, millimeters uh, raised to 4. Uh, for this, uh, uh, for this uh, uh, second requirement, uh, we, are used, we are to use the value of B. That is the width of this uh, layer. Okay, what is the width of this uh, layer? That is basically equal to the width of the web. This time, uh, we are using B equal to 20 uh, millimeters. Okay, that is the width of the web. Since uh, we are computing for the shearing stress on the web at the junction of the web and the flange. Uh, so B is equal to uh, 20 mm. And okay, for, for the value of a Q this time, Okay, we are to consider the area above that uh, that line segment or above the junction. So what is the uh, first moment of the area above the junction? So what is the area above the junction? The area above the junction is basically, uh, that is the flange. What is the area of the flange? That is 200 multiplied by uh, 40. And it's uh, the distance of its uh, centroid towards the neutral axis. So we have it uh, before or earlier. We have that value earlier. So what is the location of the center of gravity of the flange? It is at a distance of 20 mm from the top of the beam. If the location of the neutral axis is 34 millimeters from the top of the beam, the distance of that centroid will be at a distance of 14 mm. So if we are to moment that area, that is 200 by 40, okay, multiplied by 14. Okay, multiplied by uh, 14. So what is the statical moment of area? Uh, that is the area above the junction. So you have that as 200 okay, multiplied by 40. This is multiplied by the distance of its centroid towards the neutral axis is 14. So we have that uh, this time as 112,000. So 112,000, uh, this is uh, millimeters raised to, uh, raised to 3. So computing for uh, the shearing stress at the junction. So take note, this is the shearing stress uh, for the web at the junction. So we have that as the shearing stress is equal to, what is the magnitude of the shear? We have 60,000 newtons. This is multiplied by the new value of the statical moment of area or the first moment of area is 112,000. Uh, this is millimeters uh, raised to 3. So to be divided by the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis is 10.573. Uh, this is times 10 raised to 6. Okay, millimeters raised to 4. At uh, this time, uh, the width of the web is 20 mm. We are using 20 millimeters. Okay, computing for the shearing stress on the web at the junction. So we have that as 60,000. Uh, I multiplied by 112,000. And this is uh, divided by the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis, 10.573 times 10 raised to 6. The width of the web this time is 20 mm. So we have that as 31 point, or let's have it as uh, 31.779. Uh, doing unit analysis, canceling with uh, cubic millimeters. So this is mm by mm. So again, the remaining unit will be uh, the newtons per square millimeters or uh, newtons per square mm or the same as the mega pascals. So we have the shearing stress at the web is equal to 31.779 megapascals. So this will be our answer for the second requirement. Okay, number two, that is the shearing stress on the web at the junction of the flange and the web. So this will be our uh, solution for this uh, problem.